In the last portion of the optics lab, we will verify the equation governing thin lenses. The mnemonic is, if I do, I die. F is the focal length intrinsic to the lens. Do is the distance from the lens to the object. Die stands for the distance to the image formed from the lens. Here is what you need for the setup. You need a long flat surface on which you can place carefully, don't hit anybody, the optical bench. You are still going to need a light source. But this time, instead of using the narrow slit side, we are going to use the side that has a recognizable picture with arrows pointing in recognizable ways. You will also need a meter stick for additional distance measurements. And for demonstration purposes, we are going to use the 250 millimeter convex lens. I will also need a target surface on which to produce the image. Start by popping in the lens at the 50 centimeter mark right in the center of the optical bench. For distance measurements, you will need to make some subtractions depending which side uh, is the image or the source on. I will measure out one meter of distance from the lens where I'm going to place my image. And then place the target on the optical bench, which I will be able to then slide around until a clear image is formed on it. Here is a closer look of the setup.
observe how I can form a clear image only at a very specific distance from the lens. The image appears to be inverted and smaller than the original object. I observe that the image formed at approximately the 83 centimeter mark. Remember, the lens was at 50 centimeters, so this makes for an image distance of 33 centimeters. We can now use this information to verify the thin lens equation. On the left, we have one over the focal distance. The lens is marketed as 250 millimeters or 25 centimeters, which is 0 0.25 meters. We want to verify that this does in fact equal the sum of one over the distance to the object, which was one meter, plus one over the observed image distance, which was the 33 centimeters. If you reach for a calculator, you can verify that this is within measurement errors accurate. Let's practice this equation further. If I use the same lens, but place the light source all the way at the other end of the room, eight meters away, what will happen to the image? Will it get larger or smaller? How will the image distance change? Will it be farther from or closer to the lens? Yes, that tiny dot is the new image. Record the new image distance and verify that it still obeys the thin lens equation. What do you think will happen if I change the lens over to a 100 millimeter focal length lens. Again, observe 
the size of the image, the fact that it is again inverted, and record the image distance. Here is the last puzzle. I have a mystery lens in the center, still at the 50 centimeter mark, a mere 50 centimeters away from the light source. If a clear image forms at the 82 centimeter mark, what is the focal length of the lens? The answer, of course, is 200 millimeters.